back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers my name is Zama I do motherhood videos where I share tips and tricks on babies and everything that helped me throughout my journey and also I do vlogs and lifestyle so today's video as you can see by the title I'm gonna be talking about what it really costs to have a baby in South Africa in 2021 so a quick disclaimer before we actually start anything that I do share here on my channel is just from personal experience I am not a professional of any kind so anything I just share is what helped me let's get started on the video so the first thing I'm actually going to talk about is just you know during your pregnancy that period for me what I did I've talked about this in my previous videos I went to a public clinic for all my um, checkups and everything it's free so yeah I'm not too sure about when you go to private because I didn't go but I know it is quite costly if you don't have a medical aid I did go to see a gynae for my scans because they don't do a, a public hospital I, I think they only give you like one scan and you can't even keep it so I did go to a gynae for those visits a scan is probably like 850 each so it's quite costly to actually go to a gynae but for sake that i wanted to see my baby i actually was okay with paying that but yeah if you do go to a public clinic it'll be free for all your checkups for all your injections and everything like that and also you do get obviously prenatal uh tablets they give you those free at the clinic which are very not nice I've told you guys before also if you watched my previous videos I do not like that I do not drink those pills I couldn't so I did get a prescription for my gynae which was for I'm not too sure about the name of the prenatals anymore but I'll put a picture here those were really great I love them I did not have uh, any side effects or any kind of reaction towards them so I would highly re uh, recommend that but obviously go to your gynae first or to a doctor to just see if that's okay for you those pills were about 200 rand each and I had to restock them every month for nine months so it was the doctor visits which I went there four times I think and I paid all in all I paid three three thousand two hundred rand for all those visits because I didn't have medical aid and for the pills also which was 20 rand for each month that I was pregnant because it's quite costly to have a baby imagine I'm, I'm pregnant I haven't done anything yet the baby's not here let's get to the part where you actually do give birth to your baby if you do go to a public hospital again it'll be free for everything you just obviously pay for transportation and everything like that but everything is free giving birth is free um, any medicine or anything they give you they is free for private hospitals if again you are not under medical aid the cost of actually having a baby with natural or via c-section it could range from about 25,000 up to 45,000 rand that includes your pediatricians your gynecologists your anesthesiologists, doctors all those doctors so it could be total to amount of up to 45,000 rand depending on obviously differences with your pregnancy because we're not the same and you never know what's going to happen when you're in the hospitals so yeah but that's just roughly an estimate of what it will cost you for everything when you are giving birth in a public hospital obviously i'm going to get to the i'm just going to talk about the essentials the baby essentials uh what it cost us every month diapers nappies lotions and everything like that so with diapers they range from prices depending on which brand you're going to use we use the pampas brand which i've used from birth i've tried the huggies ones but they irritated him so i stopped that i use the pampers which is usually about 260 something rand if they're not in special but obviously for me what i do because i always i am always looking for sales i buy my pampers when they're on sale we use a box so we buy him like those box it's like 150 nappies inside and they last us for a month the normal price is like 450 rand for a box of nappies so if we do see sales it usually is 400 rand 380 rand and then we buy it but if it's 450 rand i don't buy it instead what i do is i check for those bags of nappies how much they actually cost because you can get those also on sale because they like for a bag of 72 72 diapers it's usually 260 something rand and you can get it on sale for 200 rand right now i know with show price the sale is going to end at 8 august 
you can buy those nappies for 180 rand so that's what i do to make sure that we don't spend too much money but we also give our baby the quality and you know that he needs with formula guys formula has never been on sale i don't know if it's me but i've never seen a formula be on sale <laughs> and the kind of formula that we use um is pelagon which is roughly 280 rand a uh, big big tap i'm not sure, sure i think it's one kg or something but that's the big tap that we actually get and we buy two of those and a small one so that's 280 rand times two plus the 150 rand for the small time my baby eats guys his nutrition obviously because right now before the age of one all his nutrients is from his formula so even though he does eat most of the stuff most of the nutrients comes from formula so that's what i give him he gets, he gets like four bottles a day and this um obviously right now he's teething and he doesn't really want to eat much so that means he'll be getting more formula formula instead of eating so that's 750 for formula that is 450 for big box of for, of nappy for wipes we also use uh, the pampers brand which is the pure aqua one because guys you remember you don't use usually they have like a pack of three and then i add a fourth one because we use four packets of wipes a month so each one for each week in total 134 rand for four wipes for the whole month and then when it comes to balm cream we use the bennett's brand which is roughly 45 45 to 50 rand the tub that we use lasts me about three months so that's what you also need to know when you buy for your baby when you can buy the biggest sizes of everything you can get so that it will last you a long time and you don't need to keep buying each month and the lotion he uses right now he uses the epimix but before up until seven months or eight months i think i used to use just the bennett's brand that's what he that's what he used for lotion and for bathing and it worked well so for the epimix that we use right now it's 80 rand for medication i'm not too sure about prices each but we buy panado uh calpo and teething medicines teething gels so that all roughly estimates up to probably 300 rand for the medication that he uses now for clothes that my son uses i don't buy clothes every month i make sure when i do buy him clothes i buy him clothes that fit him but not too too fitting to an extent that it will just be he can't wear it for more than a month the last time i actually did go buy him clothes i think it was about two months ago and i don't need to buy him new clothes but what i do spend on clothes for when we do buy it's roughly about 2000 to 2500 clothes that he does need because he's eating now he started eating at six months he used to have zero leg and all that stuff so each zero leg a box would be like 30 rand i think depending on which brand you buy is it zero leg or you buying purity but it doesn't really cost you that much what you can actually do is make food at home which i will talk about in another video in terms of starting solids and everything like that but right now he eats whatever i eat like what we eat at home but the a tweak of it is i don't add to, uh, salt to his food or sugar to prevent you know it's, it's it's too early for that even though i do add it it'll be just a little bit I'm actually planning on just stopping all of that at once but yeah he does eat whatever we eat so i don't buy him cereal he doesn't like that he eats porridge which is made with milling meal or he eats oats that i eat also with me or just normal egg and bread and cheese and everything like that okay another thing that i actually want to talk about is actually the um, cost of going to hospitals and doctors after baby is born obviously i do take my my son to a public clinic for his vaccinations because i with the research that i've actually done it does say that the um, vaccinations that i use in public in, in private hospitals and everything like that is the same as the one from public hospitals but i know that some people have like actually like the convenience of going to a private uh, doctor for time and just great service but i do go to the clinic every time you need to do his immunizations it's free so yeah it's just that it takes like so much time and the service is really poor at public clinics but yeah we do go to his public clinic for immunizations now we do have a medical aid now um since he turned up then four months 
we have him his dad has him on medical aid and he pays roughly yeah, he did he pays two two thousand rand for medical aid that's for doctor visits and medicines and everything like that okay so all in all the things that i've actually talked about with the essentials the doctor visits the medicines and diapers and formula and everything roughly what i'd say we spend on him a month is the 2000 rand for medical aid and then the diapers the formulas and the lotions and everything like that we spend close to 2000 rand so totally for my son basically it's 4000 rand a month that we i don't buy, buy him those food pouches that is it guys, 4,000 for a baby every month. <laughs> but yeah, as I said before guys, with when you do buy for a baby, just do research. For me, I go online, I Google sales um, for show brides, checkers, clicks, this game, all those places that you actually have around your area. Go to google uh, anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you do enjoy it please please click the like button because it does help my channel you know with youtube to show if it's content that should be put out there and so that my channel can also grow but yeah thank you so much guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it is a free and click the notification bell that bell there you will be notified anytime i post a video leave a comment down below if you have anything you have to say you know or anything you have to share with how much actually you guys spend on your babies each month maybe i might find that there's actually some places that i don't know about i can get baby stuff for um for cheaper but yeah i will see you on my next video guys thank you bye